what's up guys today i will be showing you how you can root your uu raker please don't be worried as this will not void your phone's warranty manufacturer will even provide the warranty after rooting your device so the first thing you have to do is to download all the necessary files the links of these files are in the description so you can check them out and download them before you go okay thereafter you have to install the drivers so just open the pdnet setup click next accept all the terms and condition and press next 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 this will take time so please be patient it will ask you to reinstall the drivers if you have usb drivers already installed on your pc please don't press no you have to press yes choose others and press ok and let the drivers be installed after some time this box will appear you can read it and then press escape usb ok untick this option and press finish so the pdnet will be running in the background you actually don't need it so you can exit it okay now you are done okay now you have to connect your phone to the pc that's actually you are doing to place a file on your phone okay so now open the phone storage uh, open the internal storage you have to copy this update as you zip in the internal storage of your phone okay that's it now you can disconnect your phone okay so here I have disconnected my phone on your phone what you have to do is to going to the settings and then finding about phone and going to about phone and then I have to press the build number seven times now I'm a developer and I can use the option developer options so open it and you have to mm, enable Android debugging and press OK now you can reconnect your phone to the PC Okay guys now you are ready to root your device open the UU Raker root files holding the shift key right click on this folder and click open command window here now have to make sure that your phone is perfectly connected to your PC for that you have to type in ADB devices uh, this will show that your phone is unauthorized and in your phone screen you will see this message you have to check mark this option and press ok this time when you will type in adb devices there will be no message like unauthorized as you can see this means your phone is now perfectly connected to your, to your pc and you can make all the comments so uh, copy the first comment given in the description and paste it in the command window Press enter Now my phone is in the fast boot mode and now what I have to do is unlock the fast boot mode For that I will copy the second command And paste it in command window press enter ok now it's done now the third thing I have to do is install the clockwork mode recovery on my phone 
for that I will copy the third command okay so copy the third command and paste it here and press enter okay as you can see it's done and the finish time is 0 0.456 seconds now I can move on to my phone and can install the super su file on my phone using clockwork mode recovery okay now you can disconnect your phone and now I have to open clockwork mode recovery in your phone for that what you have to do is to press the volume up volume down and the power key at the same time unless the phone starts it will take few seconds for opening clockwork mode recovery okay so as you can see this is clockwork mode recovery version 6.0.5.1 and you can use it for a lot of things okay now you have to press volume down for uh, going down and volume up for going up and pressing the power key for selecting I will choose the second option and press the power key and now I will choose the first option which is choose zip from the SD card okay press again the power button now I will navigate to the file which I have placed earlier in my phone which is update super su.zip I will select that now I will choose the second option which is yes update okay as you can see install from SD card complete okay now what I have to do is to go back and I have to reboot system now so select this option and choose the second option which is fixed root and press the power button 